Hello guys, it's Henry from Architect Piper. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the basics of roofing in Revit. Okay? So roofing is a very popular building material. If not, it's almost known by everybody. So I won't be covering much on what roofing is. So we're just going to go straight to creating the roof in Revit. So to create roof, you see this roof. Under this architecture tab, you see this roof icon. So you can click the drop down button and see the options there. So first of all, you see roof by footprint, roof by extrusion, roof by face, roof surface. So these are now like add-ons to the roof, roof surface, roof fascia, roof gutter. Okay. So we are just going to start by creating a roof, the roof by footprint. That is basically the most popular way. So now we are in 3D, to, um, Revit will ask you to select the level you want so we have already created a roof level in our level so we're just going to select it and click yes please don't mind the background sound of my system so it's an old system so it's just making a lot of noise so we're just going to start drawing our profile our roof profile okay just going to sketch it too and always note that in roof by footprint the loop must be closed Meaning that you can't just create a incomplete loop like this and just expect it to form Revit whenever it will show you lines must be must be in closed loops. Okay, so just note that. So we're just going to join everything and we're now going to click offset because roof eaves are normally offset by 600 millimeters or 0.6 meters. So we're going to uncheck the copy offset. Then we're going to offset it. Offset it. Offset it. Offset it. Offset it. So, if you notice, you'll be seeing these triangles um, associated with each of these lines. Okay. So, if I click this and I uncheck the slope, define this, define slope, and I now check it, this triangle will disappear. These triangles basically mean there is an angle of inclination concerning this line. Okay. For example, let me just check back this slope now and I click create. Okay, as you can see, this is a basic heat proof we just created because all the angles are, um, are checked and uh, have a slope. Okay, so we are going to edit this roof now and just show you options you can use it to. So we are going to click on this angle and uncheck it. Click here and uncheck it. So what we are trying to do is going to create a gable roof. So we are just going to click. Okay, um, as you can see, this part that we uncheck the slope isn't sloping anywhere so thus it has created a cable roof okay so if you want to create a flat roof for example we click on edit footprint we select this whole place and uncheck it okay and thus we have created something similar to a slab because none of the lines has a slope so it's just totally flat we can create a mono pitch roof or a simple shed roof and just check this loop okay and click on finish so as you can see we have created a, a mono pitch roof okay so we are going to click on this the angle is is overwhelming so we're going to click on this roof and we can change this loop from here easily we can change it from here or we can also click on the roof and edit in place and then change the slope from the line itself and let's change it to five degrees since it's just a shed one of which okay wait let's change it let's change it to five degrees okay and thus as you can see the five degrees has reflected you can click on this roof now and edit the height to change it to 10 degrees okay okay so we are going to be moving to the next type of roof that is roof by extrusion okay or the next not the next type of roof, the next method of creating roof that is roof by extrusion okay as you can see roof by extrusion is basically <laughs> from the name is um, a roof that is formed based on an extrusion Okay, so um, the first thing you do, you see, once you click on by extrusion, is the option to which plane are you setting as the plane where the extrusion will start from. So we're going to click on pick a plane. Just pick this wall now. Okay, 
and set you also set the level where they will be at let's use with level okay so we're not going to in this rule by extrusion once you have picked the queen you're not going to draw a profile that will have the extrusion so we're just going to draw a let's just let's just do something furniture let's draw a barrel roof let's just draw the eaves first let's just draw the eaves first so let's, let's just create this barrel okay let's leave it at this side i think this is okay delete this right. and click so as you can see you see this extrusion start at zero then extrusion end at minus 15,000 millimeters. So as you can see, the, the barrel roof has formed. Okay. Another thing to note: uh, once you create a roof, whether it's roof by extrusion or roof by footprint, or it's even a, you created a roof by model in place. Once you click on a wall, you can always click attach to top base, and the wall will attach to the roof. This is to avoid all these little loopholes in this room. You click attach to top base and the wall attaches to the roof. Okay? You click attach to top base and the wall attaches to the roof. Okay? You click attach to top base, the wall attaches to the roof. You click attach to top base, the wall attaches to the roof. You click attach to top base and the wall attaches to the roof. Okay, so we are going to delete this wall. Once you delete this wall, the wall will attach automatically and revert back to normal. Okay, so now we have covered roof by extrusion. We are now going to go to roof by face. Okay, this roof by face is, for instance, if you create a, a mask, like I just masked this, um, freestyle this, I don't know, let me call it sheet of paper or something just to show you guys because i use model in place to create it so this mask by face and um, roof by face basically means the roof will be created based on the face in which is selected okay so we're going to click it now and let's just change the roof to a lighter roof based on the shapes are too irregular i'm not sure that kind of roof so i'm just going to select this one and click create roof click escape so as you can see the roof have attached to this face so it is just another in case if you are creating a very complex parametric design or something you um, roof by face is something you might be using on that kind of project okay <clears throat> so we are now going to go into the add-ons and uh, the extra utilities on that roof so we are just going to create a regular roof again by footprint go to roof roof by footprint Roof level. Sorry, I clicked the roof level. So we're now going to click on this, and we're just going to select. We can just select the exterior ridges of the walls. Then we're now just going to join them. Then we're going to offset. Okay, so we have created this roof again. We can change it to that to any preset roof already in the roof um, tab. So I'm just going to change it to this. Okay, but I'm going to start by creating a roof, roofs and um, surface. Okay, I'm going to set it at roof level. Click yes. So I'm now going to sketch our profile. So as you can see, this roof of it can be helpful while we are creating. Um, let me just offset the roof from roof level so you will see the roof of it. Let me just offset it by 300. So as you can see, this is the roof of it. This tool can be helpful or useful when you are creating um, concrete facials that will, for design purposes or structural purposes of the roof. Okay. You can also select. Can change it to 
can change the structure to 150 millimeter steel and change it to a concrete, let's look at a concrete material. Okay. Let's change this offset to 150. Okay, so as you can see, the roof just sat well on the roof surface. We are also going to check the roof fascia. Okay, so we're just going to select this part and create it. This roof fascia is good for creating facial boards of the roof. For example, although I didn't create a proper roof sheet, we are just um, replacing facial boards at the edge. But we can just see what it can do from the sound. And you know how you can apply it in future projects. Okay, so we're going to just delete that. So, uh, and also the last thing is roof gutter. Okay, so roof gutter, as the name implies, is a, an easy way in Revit to just go through training drainage system, to model drainage systems for the roof. Okay, so we're going to click on edit type. Okay, we see the uh, this regular roof gutter. Okay, let's just use this one and see how it is. You know this foundation is this, this roof gutter. Let's make sure it's gutter. I select the material to be let's look for aluminium. Okay. Bam, we just selected it. And as you can see, we have created the roof gutter and we are chaining it around the building. Okay. So there you have it guys, those are the basics you need to know about roofs in Revit. So in future videos, I'm also going to be creating videos on how to create roof cutters and drainage pipes to accompany them, how to create different kind of roofs, how to be creative with the roof tools and all. So please watch out for those videos and before then, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release another video. More videos will be coming, trust me, and have a nice day. Thank you.